Hey guys, Edgeward here. We're going to be looking at the Aberly Stock G4 Operator Pack. Alright. This is a brand new pack. This is just going to be an unboxing and quick review on the features. Alright. So let's just take it out of the plastic. Alright. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. So you guys can go to the website and see all the specs but this is a pretty big pack um, you got the card here oh, it's not a sticker yep so this is actually going to be for my PRS competitions uh, I think it's a little too big to be a range bag but I'm actually gonna do a separate video on what it can hold but like I said this is just an unboxing so I'm not going to take anything apart yet. We're just going to look around it. Straps are really heavy duty. Got the waist belt here. And there is a nice steel or aluminum, I should say, frame inside the pack. So it keeps it nice and stiff and stable. I actually had an older version of this G4 stock pack and it did not have this frame and you could actually feel the frame here and inside here is the rifle scabbard this is the inside is that's the hood rain hood and at the bottom is the extension there you go all right that's the extension so it actually holds the rifle um i don't know what you guys do uh there's a lot of padding here this is a really thick padding but i always put it butt down muzzle up whenever uh, i use my old pack uh, the reason why i upgrade it is um uh, well i thought it was like too old before and i sold it years ago and now I want one back. And the, the, this so far is a good update. So, like I said, I know it looks more like a muzzle down kind of scabbard, but like I said, I do a muzzle up just because I'm short. And if I bend down, I'm afraid it'll hit the muzzle. But like I said, there's a lot of padding here. Or it's Some people do it, and, but I'm just too scared about the muzzle. So this one is relatively light. There's not like padding here. It's just a pretty much double lined cover. So this thing is a separate layer. It feels like from this thing, either that or it's just really thick, but it's not padded. It's not, it's not a padding thing. It's just there. All right. And I'm just going to take, I'll stick that back in there. Back in there. Now we'll do that later. <laughs> Can't really do it. It's hard. It's a little awkward for me to do it from my angle, but it does come with straps. There you go. There you go. So at least it comes off. Tuck it in here. So if this is not open, just clamp them together. So at least you have somewhat of a clamp them. Sorry. When, while it's open, it's pretty like loose and moving. So clamp it together and gives it some kind of structure. Okay. So. Let's start unbuckling these things. All right. So let's start at the top. The top here, you have like an admin pocket, really shallow, uh, no more than keys, and it's not that big. Probably just put like won't even it's not even big enough to fit a wallet just keys 
um, something quick, like a range card or something like that, but really not that. Here's a top pocket. This is lined, it's like cloth lined, so you can put something. I would probably put my glasses up here. Um, I have prescription glasses, so um, I could put the case right up here, and it's actually relatively deep. So if you have, you guys have like one of those like Oakley thick vault cases, will fit right in here. Keep it nice and protected. I'll put my phone in here. A lot of extra room. Like I said, I'm actually going to do a separate video. See what I actually can put in here. All right. So. Looks like we got another side pocket here. All right, this one goes all the way through. Let's see if there's an opening on the other side. Nope, it's closed on the other side. So, um, probably put some documents in there. It's it's deep, but it's a pretty shallow pocket. But you can probably put some. I'll probably put my like first aid kit in there. Oh, uh, and extra hearing protection like those soft earbuds and stuff all right and in here uh oh all right something in here and this must be the fanny pack option so you could take this off and here's your fanny pack put this around your Put this around your waist and you could lug it around like a like a fanny pack um, the clips are right here and then on the opposite side unhook that and then there's now a belt liner there's a belt in there so you carry around the fanny pack now spread this out and this thing is massive all right so here i will it's a deep pocket i will probably put my tripod in there my tripod's probably going to hang out a little bit but that's okay because this thing goes the entire length of the bag all right um i could actually show you guys there's a model for a reference so you guys know how big this tripod is. And that's on there. And what's nice too is there is <clears throat> something to hold it tight in there. So quick access. And leaves it secure and this is still expand extends out it is attached by a, a velcro keeper so it's not dangling that's something my old pack didn't have so it's gonna be my tripod pocket all right and it is the same on the other side technically these are bladder pockets you put your water bladder in here but um, I know there's another one inside so this is one of those expandable Almost like a duffel bag. It goes high. Before we go to the main compartment, let's go in the let's go in the outside pocket. This one right here. Oh, definitely for the fix it sticks. Fix it sticks. Oil. Extra like notepads and stuff. But for me, I'm gonna put my tools in here. My fix it sticks. Uh, my lens cleaner, uh, like a small bottle of oil and grease to keep the bolt running. That's what I'm going to put in here. And it can. There's two zippers, and they can open from either side. But they're not together. So when they're together, they're open. When they're apart, they're closed. So you could actually open it from either direction, which is really cool. I, I like that because sometimes when you're when they're together like this. Sometimes you don't realize that you're pulling the other one and it's just always closed. I hate it when I do that. All right, next one is this bottom pocket down here. All right. Most likely my 
dope card, notebooks, pens, stuff like that. It's a deep pocket. Um, here's a Pelican case with my Kestrel. And there's plenty of room in there. Plenty of room. So I think I could fit like two of these things, in, two of these cases in there. Next one, this one down below. All right, so this one down here is a pretty deep pocket, but it also expands. This is actually the floor of this top upper layer. So in here, um, the previous model I had, this was like almost 10 years ago. This one was like closed off and I wouldn't say it was padded or stiff, but I used to be able to put my ammo in here and everything just sits down. So now it's, I'll probably use this for like my uh, rear bags. That way it makes a nice base and it's easy to access rather than like digging into the main pocket. So in here, this there's this mesh one. It's mesh because under here, I'm gonna pull that out in a little bit. Under here is actually the rain cover that covers the entire case. So that's a that's an awesome thing. So let's close this up. So here, this zipper is the one where they're together. So that's fine. All right, this is the main compartment. And there's a lot of room in there. So this is either a top loader sorry hit the tripod or a front loader and there are three side pockets here um, you can't fit an AR mag in here but you could definitely do one of those like PCC pistol carbine magazines in here that you definitely fit in there you got Molly here I could probably put uh, I have these Vanquist pouches they can go right here I think this might be too big but at least for those quick ones like in here there's like a cleaning kit bore brushes at least probably put it upside down put it like that that way when it flips open it's right side up when it comes down all right I'll play around with that one but there's a lot of room in here there's a lot of room all right like I said this is not an intensive review just showing you guys this in the side here there's molly some molly strap and there's there's a side handle here there's no uh, side pockets for documents the strap can go up and down I'm actually gonna be playing with that seeing where it would fit nicely on my back but you can see the different layers right now it's at the topmost layer so we're gonna work our way down and see how it works the other side you also have a pull handle and you have these water pouches but this thing will hold like Jesus like a half gallon jug right in there and then there's a tether to keep it tight all right please like and subscribe guys um, leave any comments anything I missed Anything you want me to add to the review? All right. And like like I said before, this is a brief unboxing and overview. I'm going to do a separate video. Um, and I'm going to dump out the contents that I was able to fit in here. And you'll see how much it can fit. But so far, I think it could fit everything and more. And, oh, right. I missed it. But right down here, the very bottom zipper. There's a rain cover. Goes right in there. Zips up and we'll cover the whole pack. All right. Comment down below, guys. Like and subscribe again. Thank you, guys. God bless.